So hi guys, uh, my name is Blessing. Uh, I'm an educational consultant and also a sales manager for a company called Lion Minds, right? So what we do is that we have an educational software. It doesn't use internet or data and then it works for all the kids in the house. So we have maths, English and Afrikaans, which are from grade R to 12. Science and accounting in metric, um, which is physics and chemistry and then also accounting. And then we have life orientation and study methods. So now our software comes in a USB, but you, however you can use it on smartphones and also computers as well. So let's say your child comes back home from school. Um, they'll come back on the laptop or a computer or whatever device that you have. So basically what it does is that it takes the classroom environment and then it puts it at home. So now in class there's a whole, lot of, a whole lot of classroom distractions and then also the teacher doesn't have enough time to cover everything. So the software, you put it on their phones and also laptops and computers because households are not the same. Some have laptops, some have phones. So now this is sort of like the junior phase um, and also the intermediate phase it's your grade one to seven that's maths english and afrikaans is grade one to twelve so if a child is doing maybe grade seven then they'd go to their particular grade so now instead of getting a report like four times only in a year that's what that's how many times the average kid gets a report the software will give you a report each and every day in the house so every time they press their grade it will require their name because you're going to get a report each and every day in the house so now let's say your name is Blessing, which is the best name in the world. So Blessing comes here from school, writes his name, then he presses content. This is every topic that your child has to learn according to the syllabus. So now it will be a matter of every day, it doesn't matter. Some children get home, homeworks on their books every day. Some get it on WhatsApp, whatever platform that it is. So for example, today we did a bit of multiplication in class. If we did multiplication, it will have every subtopic according to the syllabus. And then every topic that your child takes is a game that's going to help them in three levels. So level one would be sort of like your easy level. Let's say 50, 60 percent if you're doing this level. Then this is 70s, 80s, then it's 80s, 80 to 100 percent. So now this game, the levels, it takes you 80 percent to proceed to the next, but it takes you five minutes per level. So now let's say your child has a homework and then they don't understand something like this. 34 times 16. So a lot of parents would have a problem with helping with this because it's been a while, maths takes practice. So if you don't understand something on our software, it's either you read or you watch a quick video to understand. So children are not the same. Some are a bit more, they into theory. So they press help. When you press help, it'll give you a step-by-step -step guide on exactly what to do. So it'll tell you exactly what to do. So alternatively, I can press videos and then I get another teacher at the house. I will now explain multiplication well, by eight two digits. Offline. offline, no internet, no We're data. So now, sometimes, you know, Uguti, I don't know, being from an African household, you get taught like by your parents and then it ends up into a beating because they're impatient with you. So with this, I can sort of repeat the information over and over. And then once I'm done with the exercise, I, I play my game and then it'll want the answer step by step. So now, once I'm done with the lesson, It'll want the answer step by step. So four times six is 24. We carry over the two and you mark it for yourself. Brilliant answer, blessing, keep it up. So it gives them encouragement to do more. So now basically every topic sort of has like a theoretical way on how to explain a child. Or you can watch a quick video on how to do an exercise. So it's all about practical subjects. We don't want to give you the histories, the theory, because we don't want to spoon feed the child. But when it comes to English, it's all about practice. So it has different subjects. Yeah, it has maths. It has maths, English, and Afrikaans. That's grade up to 12. Then science and accounting in metric. Then life orientation and study methods. So it would work on your phones and laptops. So if I was to ask you, what's a diminutive? You did that when you were 10 years old. What language do you speak? Awesome. Yeah. So if you forgot it, you press it. You know this thing. Diminutive but because you don't practice, it's easy to forget. So they have a homework like this, yeah, grade four, yakshaya, and then you remember mole, you're like, ah, diminutive, child is already sleeping, it's already too late, they're writing tomorrow. So it's, while my memory is still fresh, while I still have homework, it will always have a lesson and an exercise for you to complete. So I learned that diminutives mean small or little, so now I come and I, and I apply. That's why we give you the practical subjects. So now, if I was to ask you, what's a small turkey? Tekinya. Tekinya. Tekinya.
Tech Shala. 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 So, Oops. if I get the answer wrong three times, it'll give me the right answer so that the child doesn't get frustrated. And then, That's this is how you improve your English. A uh, small techie is a pult. Oh. So, instead of you guys playing like your normal 30 second board games and stuff like this, you guys can play this because it's just like a game but it teaches you everything. What's, what's the diminutive of a woman? Exactly, so etc, etc. So now, if you want to improve your English, it's all about practice. Your child doesn't necessarily have to wait for a teacher. Like, if your child is in grade 4, they'll have to wait till grade 5 to learn about prepositions. If you have the software, you just press it so that it builds confidence in the child. You can tell your child to start asking your teacher what is he's doing tomorrow. And then so much they can be ahead of the class and everything. So I only buy this uh, software once for 12 years. So one what software... Do I have to upgrade? So now, year? that's a very good question actually. Whenever we have a software upgrade and whenever we have like sort of like a, the syllabus change every, changes every once in a while, you get all those upgrades for free. Oh. So we contact you and then we tell you the syllabus changes. Um, on the phone, usually we send you a link. You, um, you update the Android files. But on the laptop, it's a matter of like you have to. The only thing that you pay is for the packaging, the 250. I mean, just pay a 250 upgrade, a upgradable fee. But you don't have to buy the entire software. So now, this would be like the parents' favorite part. Everything that you see that your child is doing on the software, you're able to monitor and assist wherever it's necessary. So you're gonna see whatever that your child is doing every day. So your child. Progress, you know. Exactly. So in most cases. You'll get told that your child got 72%, but you won't get told where's that 28% missing. So this is where you can come as a parent. You see that, okay, everything was good for Kate this week, but long division was a problem. Because oh, it's so gonna... You can also work on, on their weaknesses. Exactly, so that no, now we take that 78% to the 90s, to the 100s, because even parents meeting, they're not really conducive. It's just, ah, Kate is a good girl. Blessing is a good boy. Now you can come hold the teacher and cater accountable. I love it. Exactly. So in terms of syllabus, is it aligned with the current syllabus that they are doing at school? Yeah, it's aligned it's with... It. I don't want something that will be irrelevant. Exactly. So it's 100% according to the CAPS syllabus and also IEB syllabus. So it's just a matter of the child doing it from level to level. And then somehow you monitor the results and everything like that. So even the high school version, it's much more mature. So the nice thing about this is that it gives you everything from grade A R up until grade 12. So meaning that I come back home from school. If I'm in grade 9, I go to grade 9. It comes in English and Afrikaans. So today... So those the two languages. Yeah, exactly. So now today we were doing algebraic equations. You go to algebraic equations. In this chapter, we'll be dealing with algebraic equations. Then you get a teacher that explains to Firstly, you everything that you need to learn. So now revision. the difference between this algebraic and the teacher also are an algebraic a much more mature or older more child, 14, 15, 16, it's that age now. They're a bit teacher. rowdy in the class. It's easily to get distracted and we fall into that syndrome. Do you understand class? Yes, sir. So now, let's say the teacher was explaining algebraic equations. They can literally, the bell could ring with equations with brackets. I'd have to wait for next term, next week, the next day. But how much time does your ch child spend on the phone? A lot. So I just come back home from school and I continue while my now memory is still fresh equations, with whatever that brackets. it is. And math, so since it's a, like a, progr a pro progressive subject, Let's say your child is very good in algebra. They don't have to wait for grade 10 because maths you do the same thing up until you finish school. There's still algebra in grade 11, there's still algebra in grade 10, and then everything is 100% like now, that. Now, you know with the older generation, our age, yeah. this thing user-friendly. Of course it is. Allergic to technology. Of course it is, it's simple. You install it on the laptop using the USB, it has instructions also in our packaging. And then we also send you videos that show you how the software works and everything. So, yes, very, very user friendly, but also our technical team helps and it's a bit hands on. Especially even after hours and stuff like that when you're struggling to activate and everything like that. So for someone that was not privileged enough to sit in front of you, where can they get hold of this thing? Well, you can search lionminds.co.za. Yeah, we have a website. I think we're in 33,000 households so far in the country. And yeah, like um, our main purpose is just to enrich um, people's lives. It doesn't matter what class you're from. 
Um, you can the most you can pay for our software on a monthly basis is not more than 300 bucks. I think the most you can pay is 285 per month for 24 months. But once you have the software, you get the upgrades, the licenses, and everything else. And what would be the challenges that one would face using this? Maybe through your experience, you have noticed some certain things that maybe this thing is limited to to solving. So what would be the challenges, maybe from your end? That so, you so far? the challenges would be in a matter of, okay, like children have a different way of understanding and different type of homeworks. So maybe software navigation sometimes, especially for an audience that's not so computer friendly. But that's where our technical support comes in. Like um, our team of consultants, it's just a matter of sending them a picture of whatever that you can't do, and then it will help you. But in terms of the content that you need for school, everything you're guaranteed that you're going to find as long as it's between these subjects. What we don't provide is theoretical subjects. And then also, a lot of parents have been asking about um, if we provide subjects in African languages, because especially in townships and stuff, you, you find that they will teach you maths and Tswana, Sotu, Pedi, Zulu, whatever that it is. So they'd have a challenging understanding or um, using the software because of the English. So now then, the thing is, when you go to matric, it's either you're gonna write your maths in English and everything like that. So that can sort of cause a backlash because everything from your district test and everything, it's all in English. So we get you very good at that language that you get taught in because nobody speaks English at the house. We're only speaking our, our native languages. So this will teach you in the proper language so that you can understand all those terminologies. So in terms of like, yeah, challenges, I'd say those are like the two, two main ones. No, I think, I think we have covered it. Uh, you said your, your socials is Lion Minds. Lion Minds, yeah, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram as well, and then also our website, lionminds.co.za. On all socials, that's it. Exactly. Yeah, I think we are covered. Thanks.